This is how much water you should be drinking every day if you are an adult man. This is 13 cups of water. Now a lot of people want to know how much we pay for utilities here in Boise, Idaho. So in this video I want to talk about how much we pay for water and electricity and I'll cover the other utilities in a future video. My family uses 9,000 gallons of water per month and that works out to be about 300 gallons of water per day. Idaho is ranked right around the middle of the 50 states as far as water costs are concerned. I get a water bill every two months and it fluctuates between $52 to $56 for those two months. Uh, but on average, over the past one year, from June of 2020 to June of 2021, I paid $28.28 per month for water. Now the state average here in Idaho is about $37, so yes, I'm about $10 cheaper than the state average. And to put that into context of the three states where most people are moving to Idaho from, the average water bill in California is $65 per month. In Oregon, it's $37 per month. So that's about the same as the Idaho state average. And Washingtonians pay about $57 per month. So about $20 more than we pay here in the state of Idaho, which to me seems a bit odd since they get a ton more rain than we do here. Idaho has 95,000 miles of rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and stream. So we have tons of surface water, but we only get 5% of our drinking water from the surface. 95% of the water that we drink comes from the ground, and that's because not only are we rich in surface water, but we're also very rich in groundwater. Now because we have the Boise River cutting right down the middle of the city, in Boise we get about 30% of our water from the Boise River and the other 70% comes from about 79 different wells that we have dug throughout the Boise area. Now according to the Suez Water Company, they do add a bit of chlorine to our water in order to treat the microorganisms. In case you didn't know, water hardness is determined by the amount of calcium and magnesium that is dissolved in the water. And the more of those elements that you have in the water, the harder the water. And hard water is usually noticed by the cloudy dishes as they come out of the dishwasher or that film that you see on your glass shower doors. Now water hardness is determined by a scale. There's a number of scales that are out there. Uh, one that I found though is 0 to 50 milligrams of calcium and magnesium per liter is usually considered to be soft water. 51 to 100 milligrams is moderately soft. 101 to 150 milligrams is slightly hard and so on and so forth. You can see the, the slide there. In Boise, we're sitting at about 108 milligrams of calcium and magnesium per liter. So again, depending on which scale you use, we're ranked about slightly hard. Nampa has 66, so less than Boise, and Meridian is slightly higher at about 136 milligrams per liter. So lots of people do have water softeners here. Not everybody does. I would say it's probably about half and half maybe slightly more than half have water softeners. How much does it cost me to water my lawn? Now Boise sits in a desert. The entire southern third of Idaho is high mountain desert and if we didn't irrigate our fields and our farms there wouldn't be much agriculture here. But as it is we have 69,000 acres of farmland that is irrigated by the Boise River and the story of how that came about is fascinating. It all goes back to 1864 to a guy called Jerome B. Walling. And that year he acquired rights to divert the water to his property. And then a couple years later in 1875, he dug a few more ditches and he realized how much potential there actually is here in the Treasure Valley. If only we could divert the Boise River to the rest of the valley. So here's what he did. He put an ad in the paper in which he said, hands wanted. If anybody wants to work and take their pay in water, they will call on the undersigned. Parties are also requested to clean out their ditches and get ready to receive water. Guaranteed, there's not one single lazy woke millennial that would do that today. In fact, they probably don't even know how to hold a shovel. And that plan was derailed a little bit several years later, but in the end, we ended up with about 500 miles of canals crisscrossing all throughout the Treasure Valley. And today, I am reaping the benefits of that extremely hard work. Thanks to their hard work, year after year, I pay a grand total of 
$27.41 to water my lawn for an entire year. Now usually the water is delivered to the sprinklers in my house on the third week of April and it continues through the first week of October. So that works out to be about 24 weeks out of the year we have irrigation water. And if you divide that $27 that I pay for the year, that works out to be $1.14 per week to water my lawn for an entire year. Hey, do me a favor. If you've learned anything in this video so far, click the like button right down below. Makes the video do a little bit better. Thanks a lot. Another question a lot of people have is how much do we pay for electricity here? Now, Idaho does not have a lot of fossil fuels. Our greatest sources of energy are renewable sources. So that's solar, wind, hydropower, and geothermal. And because a lot of our state is mountains, we get a lot of snow. And that snow eventually melts and runs down into our rivers. And these fast running rivers give us a wealth of hydroelectric power that we can tap into. In fact, 76% of our electricity comes from renewable sources. And that's the third largest share than any other state. So how much does this electricity cost us? Last month, my power bill was $110, but hold on. Last month was also the hottest July on record. We just broke a 45 day streak of temperatures over 90 degrees. And that's the longest streak we had since 1875 when there was a 50 day streak. All 31 days in July were over 90 degrees and we had 12 days in July over 100 degrees, yet another record. So my $110 electricity bill was an anomaly last month. You can't use that as the standard for how much electricity usually costs me. On average, I usually pay between $45 to $55 and I averaged out all of the months from June 2020 to June 2021 and the average came to $52.28 per month in electricity. Now I don't live in a huge home. My family and I are pretty minimalistic. We live in a three bed, two bath, 1,350 square foot home, but hopefully that gives you a ballpark. Uh, the average in Idaho is about $82 per month for electricity. So I'm about $30 less than the average. And just because I'm a perfectionist and I like to dig a bit deeper, Idaho is the fourth cheapest state when it comes to electricity. Uh, on average, we pay about 10.05 cents per kilowatt hour. The cheapest is Louisiana, which is 9.58 cents per kilowatt hour. And the most expensive is Hawaii at about 30 cents. And then after that is Alaska, Connecticut at about 21 cents. And to compare that to California, Oregon, and Washington, California pays about double what we pay here in electricity at about 21.43 cents per kilowatt hour. Oregon is about 11 cents per kilowatt hour and Washington is about a quarter cent cheaper at 9.76 cents per kilowatt hour on average. So just to summarize, Idaho is the fourth cheapest state when it comes to electricity, which is why solar power does not add that much value to your house. We're about right in the middle when it comes to pricing for drinking water. But as for irrigation water, I think you'll probably be pretty hard pressed to find another state that is much cheaper than we have it here in Idaho. If you want to know how much our other utilities cost here in Boise, click on this video right here.